Hi everyone, my name's John and I am the founder of Practice English. Now some of you know me, a lot of you don't, which is probably the way it would be. But let me tell you a little bit about myself. And the reason I did this was because yesterday I celebrated a birthday. It was actually my 73rd birthday. Now, I have been teaching English online uh, as a second language since the 9th of October 2011. That's over 11 years ago. I remember my first class distinctly. We didn't have the likes of Zoom. We just about had Skype, uh, but it was not very accurate and it was not very secure. In fact, in those days, I think I had to use something called Adobe Connect. We didn't have high-speed cable or high-speed broadband. Uh, we had dial-up. That's how you did things in those days. But I had students who wanted desperately to learn English. Now, before I got started teaching English as a second language, I looked at the situation and I realized you have to learn, you have to qualify, you have to be trained. So I took time out, I took six months out, and I went and I qualified and I did a proper, genuine TEFL degree, uh, sorry, not degree, TEFL certificate. These days, TEFL certificates, blimey, they can be picked up for nothing and they mean absolutely nothing, most of them. Because in order for it to be an official certificate, it really does have to be by an accredited operation. Mine actually was accredited by a, a, a department of the British government. Many, I saw one advertised the other day, uh, $10. That's not training. It gives you an idea. One of the uh, online, big online marketing places, they say, oh, we have our own certificate. We will give you a certificate that teaches you how to teach. Yeah, but that doesn't teach you how to teach English. And it's only valid for people using their platform. But that's the way it is. Anyway, I did the real thing. I went and I trained. And funnily enough, since then, I've done a lot of training. I, I attend a lot of webinars. I attend a lot of, 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 of courses online. I've done extension ones. And in fact, realizing how the market is going, uh, I looked at my own situation and I thought, OK, I, I have got to bring myself up to date. So chat GPT is the recent thing for everybody. But you need to know how to use it and what good is it for teaching. Well, I've actually done a course uh, and I'm going through a second course on how to use chat GPT for teaching. Not for cheating, not for doing easy work for me, but to know how to use it for teaching. And I will start introducing that into my classes where appropriate. The other thing I looked at was the standard of the uh, TEFL certificate. And I decided I was going to upgrade myself. And I'm actually in the middle of a course now, which will take me up to level five in the British scale, which is effectively a diploma uh, and is pro probably one of the top ratings of uh, TEFL teaching. Do I know how to teach? I hope so. Do I understand English? Well, I've been speaking it for, what, 71, 72 years? Um, yes, I hope I do know. And I've also studied how to teach it. Do I understand grammar? I hope so, yeah. But this is going to take me a stage further. And it'll be able to show to you, potential students, am I really qualified to do what I say I do? My answer, I hope, for you will be yes. Why do I bring this up? Well, I bring this up because ever since the COVID situation that we had, where lockdown came in and people lost jobs, and I, I know it's a terrible situation, but what really happened was people were looking for work. Now, there were a lot of very good tutors came in into the industry, hadn't been there before, retired teachers, teachers 
uh, of English that were looking for a second income. Teachers of English who had just been fed up teaching in the classroom. My hat goes out to them because it's not an easy thing to do. However, what also came into the market was people who could speak maybe half a dozen sentences of English and would charge a ridiculous amount of one, two dollars an hour to teach you English. Listen, it may be cheap. It may be exceedingly cheap. The point is you were being cheated because you weren't being taught proper English and you were wasting your money. I'm going to tell it as it is at my age. I have no reason to tell it any other way apart from where it is. Now, I also appreciate that I make a living out of teaching. Yep, I do. I've spent a long time training in it. I've spent a long time working in it. I have a massive library of books, of my own books. I don't ever ask you to buy material. I have all the material that you will need. I have spent the money on it. I have top quality equipment here. I'm not working from a mobile. I work from a proper office at home. Uh, in here I have three monitors. I have a very high speed broadband. I have a top quality professional camera and I have a top quality professional microphone. For me, the best is what you should have. It's what you're paying for. And I will give you the best material where appropriate. How do we take things from there? Well, one of the other things I've been looking at is, as I say, I appreciate that one-on-one -on -one teaching can be expensive. No question about it. So I have been inclined more now to move to group teaching. Now, I'm not talking about big groups here. I'm not talking about 20, 30, 50 people in a group. It doesn't work like that. You don't get the one-to-one -one attention. No, I'm looking at small groups, four, six people. You're all aiming for the same result. Why not work with each other? Why not help each other? Group teaching works out cheaper for you as well. Get the same same material, same support, everything else. But it's cheaper for you. But I'll be telling you more about that as time goes on, okay? And my intention is, is, is at least two, maybe three times a week, I'll put a proper post in and I'll get going with you. Let's see how we can get your English up to the scratch it would be. But that's just the first bit about me. And I'll tell you the rest at another time. Okay? If you want to know anything more about me, just drop me a message here at Facebook and I will respond to you. Okay? Thanks very much indeed.